Here's everything you'll need to make shrunken shanks and pygmy veggies with Paul and Annabelle. Four lamb shanks, a half cup lemon juice, two teaspoons lemon zest, four tablespoons olive oil, two teaspoons black pepper, two teaspoons kosher salt, a half teaspoon sugar, eight cloves garlic, three tablespoons flour, a half cup each of onions, celery, carrots, and tomatoes, one tablespoon tomato paste, one bottle Pinot Noir or other medium bodied red wine. One and a half cups beef stock, one bay leaf, a quarter bunch parsley sprigs, one pound assorted pygmy vegetables like potatoes, carrots, zucchini, etc., and one magnifying glass. Now, back to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on TBS. Hey, we're back with dinner and a movie. We're watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. You know, it's interesting, Paul, because these kids are so unhappy about being small, but that's all I wanted as a kid, you really? know? Well, you wouldn't have to do your chores, you wouldn't have to do your homework, or go to school. You'd always win at hide in the city. Yeah. You know, there's also a lot of very famous literature about that fantasy, like Alice in Wonderland or Gulliver's Travels. Mm -hmm. You ever been to Lilliput? Uh, not in this lifetime. <laughs> I've always dreamed of summering there. <laughs> I want to tell you what I'm doing, which is I'm zesting my lemon. As we said before, we're going to be putting some lemon and lemon juice on our lamb. So the zest is just the very outside of the lemon. You want to make sure you don't get the white part. So I'll be doing that. Why don't you tell me? We've also added the salt, sugar, pepper, and olive oil. That mixture yeah. we're going to leave up about 10 or 20 minutes. Okay. I'm uh, trimming the fat off the lamb. Uh, the shank of the lamb is a pretty lean cut to begin with but a lot of the dark flavor of lamb that some people don't like comes from the fat. So we're trying to get as much of that off as possible while still leaving this membrane that you see right here. That's called the fell, as in the fine American actor Norman Fell. Mm -hmm. uh, we leave that because it holds the moisture in and keeps it together. Right, it's kind of the aluminum siding of our lamb shank. Exactly. <laughs> now you sort of become the meat wrangler here on Dinner in a Movie. Yeah. You like, do you like that? I yeah, like that. Do you have a fear yeah. of meat? No, 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 I just like disasting. You know what's coming up next time? What? Those kids are menaced by bees. Now uh, that something wouldn't want to happen. No. We'll return after the break to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, starring Rick Moranis on Dinner and a Movie. Now back to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, starring Rick Moranis on TBS. Hey, you're enjoying Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on TBS's Dinner and a Movie. So, Annabelle, you like it so far? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's really cute. It's funny and all. But actually, you know, Paul, there's like some very serious stuff going on in the movie. I mean, Matt Burr and his kids don't, aren't really listening to them. They don't understand each other. And then there's Rick Moranis and his wife, and they're not really listening or understanding each other. There's a lot of sort of communication issues going on. Uh, hold on. Are you trying to turn this into a serious movie? You know, there's some real serious messages I think in here. Annabelle, I think about... it's a kids' movie. I think you're, I think you're reading too much into it. It's just, it's a fun fantasy special effects movie. You know, the kids are riding ants. But, they're... but, but what about all the sort of, you know, family kind of stuff going on? I think there's a whole. All right, all right. You're not going for it at all. I'm going to work on turning our vegetables into pygmy vegetables. I'm going to show them how to put the garlic into the meat. Very simple. You just want to make incisions throughout the meat, like I've done here. Take the garlic cloves, slice them up into pieces like that, and then just insert them into the uh, incision that you've made like that. The next step is we're going to take these shanks, put them in flour, roll them around, dust off any excess flour, and then they'll be ready to be seared, which will be our next step. How are the vegetables coming? Hey, wow. how about that? And it shrunk the plate? Uh-huh. Well, you know, it's just like Rick Moranis and Hishin, you know, it doesn't distinguish between the vegetables and the plate, like the kids and the couch. Like the way he can't distinguish between his kids in the couches or with a movie that was funded by your local gardener trying mm -hmm. to tell you what could the hazards of if you let your grass go long or mm -hmm. yeah you met one of the things named the ant rosebud and it's it's a rip off of citizen king well and, uh, you know you know the rest of their lives those kids are going to be haunted by that ant like the sled and you know, okay forget it Orson Welles. maybe it's not Orson Welles, but bergman <laughs> After the break, we'll be back with more deliciously deep television on Dinner and a Movie. You asked for it, you got it. Now you can cook all the delicious recipes from the show with the Dinner and a Movie cookbook. Available in bookstores everywhere or call 1-800-278-4663 for more information. Bon appetit! Hey, we're making our shrunken shanks of pygmy vegetables and our wine reduction sauce watching a tragic movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's so sad. It's a drama, just like Rebel Without a Cause or Ordinary People. There these kids are. They're lost in their own backyard. Their parents are, are, are right on top of them, and they can't even see their own children. It's tragic. You know what? Maybe, maybe it's like Birth of a Nation, and the backyard is symbolic 
of our national backyard. Yeah. And there's something rotten, something back there that... Okay, I, okay, I, okay. I, Paul's I, making fun I, of my theory. I don't think you're even giving it any bit of thought, but that's okay because we're making a meal together here on Dinner in a Movie. We've already um, we've already seared our lamb shanks. We seared them in olive oil in this pot, and we've taken all the drippings out except for about one tablespoon, and now we're making our mirepoix, which is actually not traditional because mirepoix would normally have celery and onions. And carrots, and but not tomatoes. So it's mirepoix right. with, uh, with tomatoes, I guess. So here, let's add the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Careful now. Easy. There we go. You know, Paul. And sometimes if you want to, just lap off your thumb and add that to it. <laughs> Don't forget the tomato paste. All the tomato paste, a tablespoon uh -huh. of tomato paste. And then we're going <laughs> to... Think of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Just like this movie. Yeah. I mean, not that the movie's not funny, but you know, Paul. I mean, don't you see how sexy and these kids... Half a bottle of wine. Are, these kids can't communicate. That's why they're so small. Like me. My voice is getting so small. I, I can't here. be heard. Oh, I'm just please, like a kid. Please let there be wine in here. We'll be back in a moment with more Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on TBS. A dazzling dishware provided by Dishes a la carte. Glendale in Los Angeles. Thank you, Dishes a la carte. Annabelle, it's uh -huh. a movie. It's a fantasy uh -huh. movie about kids, nothing more. It's just, it's well, you, fluff, you, special effects. You are so wrong. You know, you're not even listening to what I'm saying. Those kids being small is a metaphor. It's a, uh, practically a birth of I so mean, it's, of it. it's a tragedy. These kids, they can't be heard. The whole family is dysfunctional. They're not listening. They're not even communicating. You're reading way too much into it. I, I don't even think you're listening to what I'm saying. I don't saying. think I don't need even... to listen to what you're saying because it makes no sense what you're saying. Look, can we tell the people what we're doing? All food? right, you know, our wine is cooked down. I just added our last lamb, lamb shank. In the beef stock, you added the beef stock. That's so right. So you're not listening. So, you know, Paul, we're going to be adding our vegetables after we let it cook for about an hour and a half, about 20 minutes before it's done. We'll be adding our vegetables. We still have a few more things to add. But, you know, Paul, I think it's just over because I don't think this kitchen is functioning anymore. I don't this think it's our is... last meal we cooked together. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, no, don't say that. Annabelle, Paul, hang in there. You're cooking something good between the two of you. It's Marilyn Kagan, licensed therapist. Marilyn, Annabelle, having a hard time. You know what I think is the best? We're going to listen. We're going to talk about what's really going on between the two of you here and what the problem, the conflict is. But let's jump back into what you're doing. You do it so well and it smells so good in here. Help me out. Okay. What do I need to do? Let me help. So would you add a bay leaf? You need to add one bay leaf. Okay. You need to add our parsley. All right. All right. Do you have anything I can wear? Yeah. So, like, let I don't me want to get a little bit a dinner and a movie. Oh, thank egg you. Egg. Oh, so it's All a right. chip thing now. So That's add the bay is. leaf. Okay. And calm down, Paul. No hostility here. And add the uh, uh, lemon juice. Lemon and, juice. And, oh, I'll get that. Get the okay. parsley. All righty. And then I'm one bay leaf. Okay, just one. Just one. Yeah. And the parsley we're gonna let it cover and cook for an hour and a half now. We're gonna have. Keep going. Keep cooking. We're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about what okay. this conference is about. We're going to smell the odors. Okay. Don't go away. Oh, it's Marilyn Kagan, licensed therapist. I'm willing to listen. I am. I know you are. I know you are, honey. I know you are. Know. We'll be back after the break with Paul, Annabelle, and licensed therapist Marilyn Kagan on Dinner in a Movie. Want a copy of a recipe or just want to say hi? Write to us at Dinner in a Movie, Box 512, Atlanta, Georgia, 30301. Or check out our website for interesting tidbits on Paul, Annabelle, and all the delicious recipes from the show. So get online with us at http colon slash slash www.turner.com slash dinner movie dot Annabelle dot Paul. <laughs> well, you see it. We'd love to hear from you, and we might even read your letter on the air. So keep in touch. Hi, we're back with Dinner in a Movie. We've been watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and as you know, Paul and I have some very different opinions about the movie. We finished making our shrunken shanks with kidney vegetables with our wine reduction sauce. Marilyn Kagan said she's... Licensed therapist, out. Marilyn Kagan. Thank yeah. you. Yes, I, I do want to say that, that uh, Annabelle, what you're talking about, about the children feeling small and insignificant, mm -hmm. the symbolism yeah. of what's going on here is absolutely yeah. correct. It really is about children who feel that they're insignificant and tiny and going to be stepped on. And about parents who are not loving them. They are loving them, uh -huh. but not quite paying attention to them. Uh -huh. But it's also just a movie with Thank great you. special effects, and it's a lot of Thank fun. You. So you're both right. You're both right. And what makes it happen is that you're both cooking and you put that extra spice in together. And that makes the relationship as well as a great dish. So you're both right. It's about talking about your differences and just making it all happen. Look at this great dish. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. 
And you know what the dessert is? What? Marilyn's inside. <laughs> oh my. Let's move the lemons. All right. Well, I guess we can put our differences aside, Paul, and eat this beautiful meal. Right, let me get rid of this so I can set some plates out. Delicious. What do you want me to do with this knife? And it certainly doesn't have to go in Paul's oh, heart anymore. I don't think we'll be needing that okay. anymore. Great. <laughs> Thank you. This looks so wonderful and smells so good. And look at this. You're working together. Oh, thank you are you, working Marilyn. together. And really helped us. And really, and in some way, that is all that it's all about, is making it happen together. After the break, we'll be back with more deliciously deep television on Dinner and a Movie. We now return to the conclusion of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids on Dinner and a Movie.